Previously, on Perfect Love, we stepped into the world of Ada Prescott, a young woman grappling with the loss of her beloved mother. The necklace, a precious heirloom, a symbol of her mother's love, was callously broken, leaving her heartbroken. We watched as Ada's world turned upside down. Ian Worthington, the intimidating yet enigmatic figure in Ada's life, was revealed to be Max's uncle, adding an unexpected twist to the tale. Max, caught between family loyalty and his growing affection for Ada, found himself in a precarious situation. He pointed the finger at Greta, the one who broke the necklace, but could do nothing more to avoid upsetting his uncle. Caught in the crossfire, Liam Prescott, Ada's father, found himself promising to repair the necklace within a month. The intimidating gaze of Ian had him stuttering and hastily revising his timeline to three days. The tension in the air was palpable as Ian demanded the necklace's swift repair. Now as we dive deeper into perfect love, Ada's journey takes an emotional turn. The broken necklace, a symbol of her broken heart, becomes a testament to her resilience. As the necklace undergoes repair, so does Ada, piecing together her life, one day at a time. The relationship between Max and Ada becomes more complicated as they navigate family ties and personal feelings. Will the repaired necklace mend Ada's heart, or will it only serve as a painful reminder of her loss? In the next part of Perfect Love, we explore the intricate dynamics of love, loss, and the ties that bind us. As the necklace returns, repaired and gleaming, it brings with it a wave of emotions, revelations, and decisions. Will Ada find the strength to confront her feelings? Will Max choose love over loyalty? Stay tuned as Perfect Love continues to unravel a tale of love, heartbreak, and resilience, reminding us that sometimes the most perfect love is often found in the most imperfect situations.